Why don't you go and find somewhere else to have a drink? So you seriously think you could come between me and Pete? He spent his whole life hating you. You're more deluded than I thought. Let's not do this, Eri. And you're a boring, inbred loser from a whole family of them. You watch your mouth. You don't know anything about me. I know that you're a scheming little cow that came here to try and win back your husband. Debbie! I came to be near my children. You might not care a damn about yours, but I'm a good mother. What? You? Good like the time that you nearly killed Ross when he was a baby. I've smothered him in his bed. That good? <sighs> oh. We were just talking about you. Again. Sorry about that. I think, to be honest, she's still a little obsessed with me. <laughs> Doesn't bother you, does it? Well, I've made a few phone calls today. Ooh, got a promotion. Actually... Robert, would you, um, do leave us for a minute? I'd quite like to do this. I'll be in the office. Listen, love, it doesn't matter how nicely you ask me, I'm not getting back with you. This was never about Lachlan. What? You're broke. Why would you think that? Robert found out. Did he know? You just want to use him to pay off your debts. That what you think? It's what I know. And I can't wait to tell my dad the minute he walks in through that door. Yeah? Somehow I doubt that, though. You couldn't be more wrong. What do you think that'll do to our precious son? Yeah, well, he deserves to know the truth. Ugh, yeah, he's already had one parent betray him. I'd just deny it anyway. Make you look desperate. Like you'd say absolutely anything to keep him. We'll see, shall we? He'd still come with me. Don't you worry about that. Then maybe after one, two weeks, he'll stop calling you altogether. Realise he's better off without you. When he finds out exactly what kind of man his father is... And what do you think that's going to do to his little troubled mind, hmm? Teenage boys like him, they'll do all sorts if they're depressed enough. You what? And who's going to get the blame then, eh? So no, Chrissy. I don't think you'll be telling Lawrence or anyone for that matter about what I've been up to. For the sake of your son. Right?